Hello, this is Stephen in Lao again. This morning I shall check out of my hotel and go down and pick up my visa, passport and pay the 1000 Thai baht fee. Then I will catch a taxi to the Vienna Wataya International Airport with a taxi driver and he was a really nice guy too. Uh, 200 baht, very good. And make my way back to Bangkok. And then the fun will begin. You won't believe what happens. Okay, I've just got a song towel or a uh, tuk tuk, whatever you want to call it. It's half an hour, I think. And I'm on the way to the uh, Thai Consulate General now to uh, pick up my visa for Thailand. 60 day visa. Uh, the tuk tuk driver wanted, um, he wanted 200 baht. I said I'd give him 100. He pulled out his list and showed me that this is what he charged, and I pulled out the hundred baht and said that's what I charge and he said okay but uh, like I said to you before it's usually half of what they first quote you you can go less if you want but I, I don't feel like fighting with them and uh, so I'm trying to just, uh, earn a living but I did give him two large bottles of beer that I had left over as a supplement no sir huh? I'm a good guy anyway we'll see what happens now I'll go and get me uh, visa and to make my way to the airport now back home back to thailand should be okay tell you what a lot of new cars here in um lao everybody drives new cars it's supposed to be one of the it is supposed to be the poorest country in asia everybody's got a new car isn't that weird yeah. Oh, not new, but new, new. Mm. So it will be exciting getting to the airport. Yeah. Lots of motorbikes. Look at that. <laughs> Three of them on one bike. It always amuses me. There's the gate you go in. A little snack bars up there if you want. Coffee shop up the end there. And people hanging around the front trying to sell you things. And these guys up here, they're the ones that want you to um, buy the documents off them and uh, do all sorts of things. I think they do your passport photos as well. 12.30. Doesn't open till 1.30. People sitting on the line and waiting. They call your number up there and uh, you go and pick up your passport. Mm. Anyway, if you're hungry or anything, there's, there's the embassy. You cross over the road here, uh, there's a pizza company. That's a bottle. What? Sorry? Bottle. No, no, no. No, no, go. Thanks. Uh, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Photo bomber. Yeah, you can get a pizza over there, but I go across the road over here. Panda Cafe. Oh. Nice hamburgers and uh, free internet. The hamburgers are excellent at the Panda Cafe. Really good. Wi-Fi is fast and the best thing about it, it's free. So if you need to use Wi-Fi, um, it's great. And uh, the coffee's excellent. Great place to chill out and organise things. Okay, back at the Consulate General. Very, very crowded, believe me. Now, uh, what they're going to do now is just call out your number up uh, and you will go up and collect your passport, pay your uh, fee and uh, you're on your way, theoretically. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does pay to get here early to get yourself a seat so you can uh, sit down. I think it's going to rain like hell in a minute. So I've got no idea where everybody's going to hide from it. Waiting for them to call out the numbers. I might see if I can get a seat up the front there. 
God, this waiting thing is just so boring. That's the window up there you get the uh, collect your passport from and pay your fee. Yeah, 1,000 Thai baht for a 60-day visa. I suppose it's a good deal, I guess. And then you're on your way. Then you can walk out the front and play with the taxis. It's entertaining. Oh, the wonderful tuk-tuks. Oh, look out, the rain started. Gonna have to end this video here. It's absolutely pouring down. Coming down to the bucket loads. I'll have to switch everything off. Anyway, when your number is called, go up to the window and pay your fee. Collect your passport and visa and you're on your way. Oh, nice. Just getting the taxi to the airport. He wanted 300 baht, but I gave him 200. 200 baht. Yeah. Unbelievable, he was. 200 baht. Ship, ship. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> She's telling me a cheap cheap, okay. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So it's 200 baht to the airport. Uh, airport Lao. Yeah, Airport Lao. The, um, the Tuk Tuks or whatever you want to call them, Song Towers or whatever they call them here, they're, uh, Song oh, they're pretty pretty cheap. Oh, you probably get one for a hundred, I don't know. But they're really uncomfortable to ride in. Uh, and it, it's, uh, it's a low, it's a low, uh, Yeah, tuk -tuk -tuk -tuk. It's very, very slow with me because I'm a big person. Not in a way of fat, I mean I'm tall. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm fat? You think I'm fat? Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> no. Lao Plaza. What's that? Lao Hotel. Plaza. Hotel. Muslim Hotel? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh. I was here last night. Yeah. Hotel. Uh, bang, bang, bang. What's Bang Bang Hotel? Bang. Oh, I walked down here last night. Oh, well, good. Oh, wow. It's a nice one. Look at that one. Uh, city. This is the city, is it? Yeah, city. Wow, very, very nice. Really nice, no? Yeah. Not building. No. Building some more. It's good that, there's, that they're not long, big buildings. How long do you do taxi for? Me. Yeah, you. Only oh, two of us in the car. Mm. Yeah. Car me. Yeah. Uh, five years. What did you do before? The last day at Tuk Tuk. Oh, Tuk Tuk. Ooh. Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk. Arriving at the airport. What's the name of the airport? What name? Airport. Name. Name uh, Wat Thai. Wat Thai. Yeah. Wat Thai. Airport. Wat Thai Airport. Name, name, name. Nice soon, uh, airport. Oh, Wat Thai. Wat Thai. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Chinese, they always rearrange their bags where you check in. I uh, don't know why they can't do it before they get here. All full of Chinese goods, I guess, on their way back to China. <laughs> if not from China, or on their way back to China to be mass produced. The trip from Vienna at Lao to Sawinapum Airport, Bangkok, went very smoothly. They're a great airline to fly with, Bangkok Air. live in Thailand with a Thai girl without being married. We don't like this. I thought to myself, wow, this is getting really interesting. Because my car got damaged just recently in an accident. That's why I need a little bit more time to stay in Thailand. I'm not staying for a year. I don't need a retirement visa. He said you cannot come into Thailand on this visa. You need a retirement visa. You're trying to live in Thailand on a tourist visa instead of a retirement visa. I said, no I'm not, I'm going home. I just need some time to pack up and sell my car. My car's damaged. After a while I got the bombshell. You can't come into Thailand at all. She said, oh, that's a different department. I said, it's a different what? I said, oh, welcome to the land of smiles. She's looking at, you got 10,000 subscribers? I said, yes, yes, 10,000. So she walked off with my phone and started showing other Thai customs officials. I said, no problem, I'll get one, easy, no problem. Okay, I don't mind. 
If you'd like to help and support this channel, there is a Patreon link at the end of this film that you can click on. We'd appreciate any help you can give. And if you are a Patreon supporter, there are many films not released on YouTube that are available on Patreon. Also, there are YouTube videos on there that are not released on YouTube as yet. Any help you can give will be most appreciated to help run this YouTube channel. Okay, thanks and we'll see you in the next video.